We have to go at the platform nine and three quarters for a new creative adventure. But uh, first thing first, let's tell the story from the beginning. In fact, uh, this didn't really start as a tale. After this epic road trip, I was so happy to arrive and to meet my sister and her partner again. We definitely had to celebrate the Belgian way. Today the weather is beautiful and quite cold but uh, sunny so it's going to be nice to paint with a strong contrast. So we we'll see how it goes. I would like to make some sort of bit of a quick uh, watercolor thumbnail and maybe a few line uh, sketches. So let's try that. This is quite a lovely view. This white house. A lot of uh, little towers here in uh, Berchem Antwerp. That's a really interesting shapes to sketch and paint. I'm going to try to sketch it from uh, here because of the perspective of the street, you know, straight on on the building. So <laughs> let's get started. So here is the provisory resin. I have to wait for it to dry so that I can add a, just a bit of sort of a little pointy top of the building. I quite forgot that uh, outside uh, during winter, even if the weather is sunny, it takes uh, so long to dry, you know. So that's quite a melting sketch, but it was my idea to have a quite of a loud scene, not with uh, too much detail, with a focus on uh, this particular building and the cars and the other building quite uh, melted in the washes. <laughs> Meet my sister! Yeah, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Let's discover Antwerp together now! This is a really inspiring city with a lot of stunning and impressive architecture from the Art Nouveau Art Deco style. So really colorful facade, interesting details everywhere. You could really spend the days just drawing the architecture, trying to catch the details and practicing this kind of sketching. That's quite stunning. I started to make photos too, for example here to catch the color combination and cobblestones, trying to enhance the environment. 
but also catching the people in order to give life to my photos and to make them a better recording of the place. As I was walking with Sylvain, I just tried to catch a few visions while, you know, talking uh, together. Like for example, for this shot, I just saw the silhouette and just pressed the shutter right away. The video shot is uh, bad and blurry, but the photo is good, <laughs> luckily. Bridges, bicycle, people, all of it was really inspiring. This waitress silhouette behind the window is one of my favorites. Then we arrived at the central station. How impressive it is! Wow! These two officers arrived and I really like to take a photo of them just with a synchronized movement like that. I felt like giving a sort of vintage look to some of my photos these days. Then, at almost the same location, I had fun taking photos from this man with a hat and, you know, getting closer to the railing and playing with the light of the railing so that I can lead the eye in the photo towards the man so you can see me moving in space to find the better composition. station, I suddenly remembered how fun it is to make some panoramas with a smartphone. Uh, I need your help though to show it to you, so would you mind tilting your head to the right? Thanks for your help, wonderful! You can tilt it uh, to the left too if you prefer. <laughs> how fun is this? I really like the distortions in this kind of crazy shot. Here is another one. I hope you don't feel too dizzy because of me now. This is so impressive. But uh, even if I like the impressive houses, I, in fact, I realize I quite like this view. You know, this kind of these details with the tram sign. Uh, this is really special from uh, here. I think the tram is everywhere. So I'm going to, yeah, to try to make a sketch just maybe with this uh, a loose silhouette of these uh, really special houses and uh, included the tram and maybe the tree to the right. I'm not sure yet, I have to figure out about the composition. And uh, I think the wires for the tram uh, at the top, adding this line in the sky, that way it's quite a sort of a frame the building. So I'm going to try to get uh, this effect and birds in the sky right now <laughs> to inspire me uh, even more. So here is the final result. It's not quite uh, loose and fun. I was pretty happy with the colors, with quite a lot of uh, warm and cool colors in the building. And I think the addition of the sign and trees and the wires are quite cool. And I had a few birds. I only add them when I saw them. But this time, yeah, probably you saw them too. So here is a common sketch. So the fun thing about the cold is that uh, I don't feel really the cold when I'm sketching. That's why sketching is just wonderful because you are in the flow and just thinking about art and uh, how you want the sketch to be but not about everything that could bother you. And as soon as I finish uh, sketching I realize I am freezing and it's uh, quite cold so I have to sketch uh, you know some more. I have to find uh, quickly uh, new things to sketch to forget uh, the cold. <laughs> At some point I just saw two small silhouettes uh, in the distance so I just made this little really you know really quick impression that's pretty loose I don't know if you can feel the cold in the pen mark I hope so because uh, yeah despite the mittens you know my uh, fingers are a bit uh, freezing 
and uh, yeah, I'm happy to sketch you know, outside again but uh, uh, that's always uh, these kind of uh, things about urban sketching with noise when you want to talk to your camera framing and uh, handling uh, sketching stuff the camera not uh, being uh, you know put down by a bicycle and uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's really fun but always an adventure <laughs> Have you ever tried to paint with mittens? Because it's quite uh, funny experiences. I just remembered uh, <laughs> it too while uh, trying to paint. These are quite cool because they are this kind of little thing that you could put on your finger if you are too cold. But uh, <laughs> you still have to remove uh, these uh, to paint. And uh, so, yeah, you know, your hand feels so big and not so easy to use. That's uh, quite fun. So it was another bit of anecdote about the sketching in the cold. Mm, you can't be against a waffle break. <coughs> These are the Liège waffles. Mm, so delicious. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, <laughs> these photos during sunset and I really love the whole series and the atmosphere with the sunset color and the silhouette. Did you spot Sylvain by the way? by night and misadventure, are you ready to keep being inspired? The city was indeed beautiful and really inspiring and I can't resist playing with reflections like that. Like for my panoramics, you can look at them the orientation you want and that's so interesting and so fun. A way to have a peek through the looking glass. building there was this uh, crazy staircase. A dream for light and colors and lined lover like me. that the space was too tight between the car and the tramway and he couldn't keep going without damaging the car so we had to take another one and this officer's gesture means that he's going to make a really long detour because of the stuck track 
I got this really cool shot though of the tram in the night in the city, uh, so it was a bit of a small <laughs> consolation. So here is my uh, last painting, that's a vertical view of uh, this building. Show you some close-up views, so just lose, uh, yeah, you know, impression of uh, the city. And this really, really, really tall building with a railing, and this is a... <laughs> maybe you can't guess, but this is a lion <laughs> at the top. So yeah, here is uh, the painting. In fact, I painted this scene several times. This would be at least the second one. So if I can find the other version, I will uh, show them to you so that we can compare. I uh, really try to to keep it loose in this version. I would think that the previous ones were probably tighter. So we'll see if, uh, if we can compare uh, the version. You will tell me what you think about it. <laughs> I guess it's time to wake up for real now. Quoi faire l'autre? 